Hello my creepy bubbles. Welcome to Creepy Corners. I'm glad that you decided to join me this week. <laughs> And thanks to the new people that came in. If you're curious why I say creepy popples, it's because one time I accidentally said that instead of creepy people. And uh, Blazer uh, sort of picked on me for it. And it actually just stuck. So um, so you are creepy popples. And this week, I'm actually going to take us back to last week when I filmed the Grandin Road sort of unboxing. I'm not going to make you sit through me unboxing everything because... It was a long time. It took quite a while for me to do it. Um, so I'll either cut that part out or zoom it or speed it up or whatever. But um, I just wanted to say hi since I was last week going to transition over to Grandin Road. But it took way too long. So here we go and I'll see you at the end. Yes, there is a huge mess behind me. Apologies for that. But I want to show you what I got from Grandin Road. And I want to see what I got from Grandin Road because I haven't actually seen it yet. Luna, are you happy? Okay, good. You ready? You want to bed? What? Why are you bound so loud? I know, you're a good girl. I haven't opened any of these except for one. So ever since I saw Willy Wonka, Charlie and the Chocolate, whatever, Willy Wonka. And the scene where the hands are sticking out of the wall and they grab the hat, person's hat and they have their hangers. I really wanted something like that. I've wanted a hand sconce or something like that that's stuck out of the wall. So I got these. And they are zombie hands that you attach to the wall and then there are lanterns that you can hang on them or whatever, but you can also hang them this way or you can hang them flat so that the hand is out like this and you can put them, put candle in it or whatever. So I've got, I got two sets of these so that I can hang them up um, somewhere up in here. And uh, I'm very excited about it. So, so that's why I had to open it. But this is, this is how they look. And they, they're pretty detailed. Um, I was pretty impressed with how, how they came. They have two little thingies that you can, you know, use to hang them on the wall. And so they, they either sit like this, flat, or you can turn them like that so that they stick out of the wall. And, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. lady draped across it oh wow it's so cool I love it so much it's got some uh what honey some stuff like glittery stuff on it it's really really pretty I'm putting it this is part of the backyard thing which I, I've mentioned last video. Um, so this is one part and it feels sort of plasticky maybe, but it's, it's, it feels pretty sturdy too. So far I'm pretty pleased. I got styrofoamies all in my hair. Here, I'm gonna get you guys closer. Oh, right. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, so it's a three-piece statue. And so you have the, this woman who is slowly sinking into the ground. So this is the midway one. How was she just in here? That. I don't know. 
have the midway one, we have the large one where she's fully out of the ground. And then you have where her head is almost completely in the ground and just barely sticking out. So again, this is all um, yard art. Feels sort of plasticky, but it feels heavy duty plastic, so. Oh man, this is amazing. Look at this. <laughs> it's got the back and everything. And it says eternal rest on it. That is so, so cool. My backyard is going to look like a cemetery. I think that's what's happening right now. There's one more thing from Grandin Road. And it's this one. And I know you can't see it, and that's all right. I'll show it to you. I have to say, I'm super impressed with the size and the, and the weight of all of these things so far. Even those hands are really impressive. Um, so, <laughs> so this is going to be the last thing that I show you today. So once again, I'm pretty blown away by just how big this is. This is a statue and we've got broken wing, no head, no arms. Very, very cool. And a place for a yard stake, of course. But there we go. <laughs> those are the things that I got from Grandin Road. And I mean, I think it was worth it. Those tombstones and those hands and the statues and everything um, are really, feel like really good quality. We'll see how they hold up in the yard. I'm probably going to go ahead and put them out. I don't know if I'll do it tomorrow, um, but maybe. I'd like to see how they look and see how they sort of hold up in the weather. And that, that'll also give them time to age and do whatever it is they're going to do by Halloween time. So, yeah. So that's what I got. Tell me your favorite piece. I know it was a lot. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun today and I was super excited to open those boxes. Um, I hope you have a great week and I hope you have a good day or good night wherever you are and I will talk to you next time. Bye!